Hello everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet a beautiful shells blanket. I'm using an H hook and two colors of worsted weight cotton yarn. You can use an acrylic, but today I decided I'd like my blanket to be this variegated blue and just a plain white. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle if you'd like to sew in your ends. To begin, you will make a slip knot and chain four. So one, two, three, four. You're going to double crochet back into that first chain that you created. Chain one, and then we're going to double crochet again into that same stitch. Then you're going to chain one and double crochet again. We are going to continue until we have eight double crochet, and I'm actually counting that first chain as a double crochet. So you're going to have eight of these posts right here. So you're going to chain one and double crochet again into that stitch. So we have two, four, five, chain one. There's six. Chain one. Seven. Chain one. Eight. And then to finish, you're going to chain one once more and slip stitch into the chain of your beginning. So you're going to slip stitch right there. And you want to make sure that there's a stitch in between for your chain there, too. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight posts to begin. Now I'm actually going to be changing colors between rows so I am going to snip my yarn right here and just pull through the loop to fasten off and then I will begin with white. Now to attach my white you're going to attach into the first chain one space and I'm just going to do it just like this. And I'm actually going to tie together the two tails just for extra security in the back, just like that. And then I am going to place one single crochet into that same stitch. Okay. And then we are going to move on to the next chain one space. And in this space, you are going to place seven double crochet. So there's one, two, I'm going to grab some more yarn, three, four, five, six, seven. And now you're going to single crochet into the next space. Double crochet seven into the next chain space. Chain one space. There's one, two, I'm going to grab some more yarn here. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to continue that in that fashion all the way around. So the next place is going to be a single crochet, just like so. And then you're going to do seven double crochet, a single crochet, 
and seven double crochet. And I will meet you to end this round. Okay, so to begin round three, I'm going to attach my blue yarn to my single crochet on my blanket. So I'm going to do it just like this. And I'm going to tie those two ends together in the back. Okay, and now I'm going to chain four. So that first piece I'm going to count as one chain. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to double crochet back into that same single crochet. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now you're going to place a double crochet, one chain, and another double crochet into that same stitch. So to begin, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So there we have our chain four, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now you're going to chain five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, after your chain five, you're going to skip over this first fan and you're double, going to double crochet into that single crochet. I'm going to double crochet. And then you're going to chain one and double crochet. There's your first little V, and then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and create another V by placing a double crochet, one single crochet, or one chain, sorry about that, it's not a single crochet, it's a chain, and double crochet back into that same stitch. So it's going to look just like that. And you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to skip over that fan, the next fan, and double crochet into that single crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet. Chain one, and double crochet. Then you're going to chain five. Now I'm going to let you finish the next two fans. So you're going to make sure and chain five over your fans and then you're going to place this same V formation into the next single crochet. And I will meet you at the end of round three. Okay, here we are at the end of round three, you're going to slip stitch your chain five into that very first chain four. You're going to slip stitch. Okay, so because I'm using the blue as kind of my frame and the white as my shells, I'm going to switch colors again. Okay, so. I'm going to grab my white, hopefully not tangling it up too much here, and you are going to double crochet seven into this first chain one space. So I'm going to work over my tail a little bit. I'm going to attach my white and chain three. One, two, and then that first piece is three. So we're going to do seven double crochet. So that chain is the is number one. So there's number two, it's three, four, five, six, seven. Now these chain three spaces 
are kind of like our corners. So what you're going to do is single crochet into that chain three space. And then you're going to continue on and double crochet seven into this next chain one space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and grab some more yarn, six, seven. Now you're going to single crochet and this single crochet is going to anchor that chain five stretch that you did over the first shell. So in order to do that you're going to single crochet into the fourth double crochet of this round two. So you're going to count one, two, three, four. So that's the top of mine and you're just going to loop right around like that and single crochet. Then you're going to jump over to this next chain one space and you're going to double crochet seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to single crochet into that chain three space and I'm going to show you how this is looking. So this is our corner and we're working on the next corner. And then you're going to double crochet seven into this chain one space. There's two, three, four, five, whoops, six, seven. Now again we're going to anchor that chain five. So you're going to count four, double crochet at the bottom. It's so one, two, three, four, and it's right there. And you're going to loop right around and single crochet, anchor that chain five. And then go ahead and complete this round by placing your shells into the chain one spaces, a single crochet into the chain three spaces, and anchoring your chain fives. I will see you for round five.